On Thursday, actor Danny Masterson, best known for his role in the sitcom That 70s Show, received a prison sentence of 30 years to life for the sexual assault of two women that occurred over 20 years ago. The sentencing took place in Los Angeles Superior Court, with Judge Charlene F. Olmedo presiding. The decision followed statements from the victims, who shared the enduring impact of Masterson's actions on their lives. The Los Angeles District Attorney, George Gaskin, commended the bravery of the survivors, stating that they not only endured Masterson's abuse, but also faced a system that often failed to support victims. He emphasized that justice had finally been served and expressed his commitment to preventing Hollywood elites from using their status to prey on women. Allison Anderson, the lawyer representing the two accusers, praised her clients for their strength and courage in coming forward despite facing harassment, obstruction, and intimidation. She highlighted that these brave women played a pivotal role in holding a sexual predator accountable. At the time of reporting, Masterson's legal representatives were unavailable for comment following the sentencing. Masterson, aged 47, portrayed Stephen Hyde in That 70s Show from 1998 to 2006 and also starred in the TV comedy Men at Work from 2012 to 2014. He was later part of the cast of the Netflix comedy The Ranch, but was removed from the show in 2017 when the rape allegations surfaced. The case against Masterson garnered widespread attention, partly due to allegations that the Church of Scientology, of which Masterson was a member, had attempted to discourage his accusers. In May, Masterson was found guilty of raping two women at his Hollywood Hills home in the early 2000s. The jury could not reach a verdict on a charge related to the rape of a third woman. This mixed verdict followed a previous mistrial in November, when the jury deadlocked on all three charges. The legal proceedings against Masterson began in 2020, when he was initially charged with three counts, to which he pleaded not guilty. The case was closely monitored, not only because it involved a prominent Hollywood figure during the hashtag MeToo era, but also because two of the victims accused the Church of Scientology, to which they belonged, of discouraging them from reporting the rapes to the authorities. The Church denied exerting pressure on the victims. One accuser, identified as Christina B., reported the rape to the church's ethics officer after Masterson assaulted her in 2001 during their relationship. According to court documents, the officer dismissed her claims, stating that one cannot rape someone with whom they are in a relationship. Court records also revealed that Masterson had raped another woman, identified as Jen B., in April 2003 after giving her a drink. Jen B. sought the church's permission to report the rape and received a written response from the church's international chief justice, referencing a 1965 policy letter. This response raised concerns that she might be ostracized from her family and friends if she reported a fellow Scientologist to the police. Nevertheless, she reported the rape in 2004. The third accuser, identified as Anne Trout and raped in 2003, did not confide in the church but shared her experience with her mother and best friend. She explained that she felt sufficiently intimidated by potential repercussions and feared handling the situation outside the church's jurisdiction. Ms. Anderson, the attorney representing two of the accusers, indicated that her clients intended to continue holding the Church of Scientology accountable for its attempts to silence them. She expressed their eagerness to share the complete story of how Scientology and its supporters had worked to deter them from coming forward.